Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, always here to help you find the right device to match your needs. Today on this channel, instead of an unboxing or a review, we're launching a new series and we're calling it Show and Tell. it as our version of home TV shopping where we take a look at all sorts of gadgets and gizmos. Now the reason why we wanted to start this series is because oftentimes we get sent a lot of cool bits and bobs that don't necessarily get their own dedicated videos. So in this series we hope to take a look at some of our favorites so that you can see what's out there and maybe find something that piques your interest. And first up on this series is a brand that we've covered a lot and we really love on this channel. They're a company called Nomad. They describe themselves as a lifestyle brand, but they are best known for Apple accessories. The products that we are going to show today have been released over the last few months and are currently available on nomadgoods.com. Let's get started. Before we dive in, I have a surprise from you. The folks at Nomad actually sent me this to borrow and to show off today. It's their first ever device. Yep, Nomad started as a Kickstarter project way back in 2013, and their first device was a charge card. It was described as a USB cable that's thin enough to fit easily into your wallet. Now at first glance, I thought this had a power bank built in, but actually it was just a cable. So you plugged in this side to a USB-A port. And this, for those who are unfamiliar, is a 30 pin port, which was the port on the original iPhone. Nomad's charge card had over 5,000 backers that pledged over 160 US dollars. Of course, as you know, the rest is history. Now, my first introduction to Nomad was actually in 2016 when I was working on my Christmas gift guide. My first Nomad device was actually a card wallet with a built-in power bank the size of a stick of lipstick. It also had a small lightning cable built in. I actually used that wallet for many, many years until it was stolen in Paris one year. Now, the reason why you want to hold on to your Nomad devices for a long time is because a lot of their products are made using genuine Horween leather. Horween is an American leather company, and the promise is that their products look better on the hundredth day versus the day that you first started using it. I guess that said, the first device I want to take a look at is this, the biggest one of the bunch. Okay, obviously this has been beat up. It's not new, I've been using it for a while, but if you're looking to level up the mouse pad that you own, then this might be a good solution. As you can see, it's a little bit scuffed up because I've been using it for a while now, but that's the beauty of leather. It's not supposed to look perfect, and it's actually these imperfections that give it its character. On the flip side, it actually has a micro-textured rubber base, which helps it cling on to the surfaces. You can get it in two sizes, 13 or 16 inches. This one is rustic brown, but it's also available in black and legacy natural. This Nomad mouse pad retails for $99.99. Next up, let's take a look at some of their leather wallets. These days when it comes to wallets, Nomad has three kinds. The card wallet, the bifold wallet, and their card wallet plus. Let's start with the card wallet. And again, a little bit of a disclaimer, I've been using this for a while. Like a luxury wallet, it comes in this really nice felt bag. It has one, two, three pockets, and there's also a pocket on the inside for cash. But I kind of like to tuck my cards in here. If you take a look at some of the grain there, it is proof that I've been using this for a while now, but still relatively new. This one is available in black and rustic brown and retails for $69.95. Next up, we have the Bifold wallet. Again, nice felt bag. So you have four pockets and space for a $50 bill that I didn't know I actually had. It's always nice to find some cash tucked away. Obviously, I've used this for a little bit. I think took it out to film some video recently. The Bifold wallet is a little bit more pricey. It's $119.95. Last but not least, we have the Card Wallet Plus. This one comes in black. So it's basically 
your card wallet, but it folds instead of being exposed on the outside like this. Hmm, I think I like this one better because all your cards are kind of like tucked away inside. There are four pockets, one, two, three, four, but there's also room to stuff things in over here and one slot outside. This wallet sits in between the other two wallets and retails for $89.95. If you already own an AirTag, you could pick up Nomad's card for AirTag. This is what the packaging looks like. It retails for $24.95. And inside, you have this silicone card, which can actually fit an AirTag. You just pop the AirTag in like so, and there you go. Now, because the AirTag is thick, it is a little bit thick, but if you're like me and only carry around a few cards, then it should be no problem. But definitely, it's very visible. Or I could also put it in and hide it in here, which is probably the better idea. So yeah, it does add to the heft of your wallet, but at least your wallet wallet is now trackable with Apple's Find My Network. Speaking of AirTags, if there's any doubt, I will say it for the record, I am a big fan. I have a whole bunch of them to track all my different items, including my remote, because you can't imagine how many times this guy gets lost. Now, unfortunately, this remote case isn't from Nomad, but Nomad actually does make a leather loop so that you can use your AirTag like a keychain. I have them in all three colors, and this is a great showcase of the three different leather colors that Nomad often offers their products in. Let me know what your favorite color is in the comments section below. Now, Apple also makes a similar product. They call it a leather loop or a key ring for the AirTag. This is how it looks like. What I like about these ones from Apple is that they have a little pouch. So see, there's a button over here and you can just slide the AirTag in and then you snap the button to secure it. It's the same here as well. This is the loop button, AirTag, snap to close. On the Nomad version, they actually come with 3M sticky tape on both sides. Now, my problem with this is that once you stick it on, there's really no way to take them apart without replacing the 3M sticky tape. The battery on an AirTag is actually user replaceable, so you just twist to open, and then you can pop out and pop in a new battery. So if it was stuck like this, you would have to peel this off in order to take out the battery. Next up, we're going to take a look at their cases. And if you're a fan of this channel, you've probably seen these cases before in our best iPhone 13 cases video. You can click up here to watch that, or you could just keep on watching. Today, I have a couple to show off. I have their standard modern leather case in brown in two sizes, and I have their modern leather folio. By the way, all of these cases support MagSafe and have a digital business card built in, something that they offer in partnership with a company called Popple. Okay, let's take a look at the 6.7 inch version. And again, doesn't look perfect because I have used this before. I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max here. It has a bit of a rubber bumper on its side. Again, Horween leather, which should look better as the leather ages. And the ring around the camera is raised so that it protects your lenses. There's protection on all sides. So down here on the bottom, our holes are actually cut out for the speakers and the lightning port. All right, next up is the modern leather folio. This one is for the iPhone 13. So I have an iPhone 13 right here. This guy has a little leather flap as well. So there's three slots for your cards and maybe you can tuck some cash in over here like so. Again, it's Horween leather on both sides, a rubber frame and the same raised camera ring. This is a great accessory for those who don't want to carry around a separate wallet. There are slots for three cards and then you also have protection for your phone. Finally, we have the sports case, which is made of polycarbonate plastic instead of leather. Let me quickly unbox them to show them off right now. This is Dune. This is ash green. This is lunar gray and this is my favorite marine blue these cases all have a glossy outer shell which are a bit of a uh, smudge magnet 
inside. They have a felt like interior with a circle over here to symbolize their support for MagSafe. And finally, they have that rubber bumper, which we saw on the other cases as well. Marine blue, by the way, is a perfect match for my Sierra blue. Regardless of what size your iPhone, the price of a case will remain the same. For the sports case, it's $39.95. For the modern leather case, it's $59.95. And for the modern leather folio, $79.95. Before we move on, if cases aren't your thing, Nomad offers a different kind of protection. You can either get a tempered glass screen protector. Let's take a look. Ooh, it also comes with a bumper. Nice. And this over here must be the screen protector. Or if you like that leather finish, but don't like the bulk and don't care that much about protection, you can get a leather skin basically has sticky tape on one side and some leather on the other. So you would stick it on the back of your phone like so. Both of these items retail for $24.95. Now it's time to move on to Apple watch bands and Nomad makes a whole bunch of different kinds. I actually have their slim leather band, but recently to match the sport cases for the iPhone, they released sport straps in matching colors. So just like these cases we covered earlier, we have sport straps available in dune, lunar gray, ash green, and marine blue. I have been waiting for this unboxing for a while now and have been holding off, but I really am so excited to use the marine blue sport band. So let's open that guy first. Ooh, I really like this color. It's bluish gray. Let me compare that to the uh, lunar gray. Okay, so it's definitely bluer. This is the blue one, this is the gray one. So here they are side by side. They have a rubbery texture to them, and I do like how there are ridges. You can feel a texture on the outside as well of the strap, as well as the inside of the strap. I like how it's comfy. So how do I look? I just looked on the website and these sport bands are actually back ordered. They will start shipping by April 14th, so you should definitely place an order now. They retail for $59.95 and make sure when you order to pick the right size to match your Apple Watch. And last but not least, another favorite category of mine, chargers, including a product that Nomad just released. If you watch this channel, you've heard me repeat it time and time again. My favorite Nomad product is actually a paperweight for my MagSafe charging puck. It's the one in my bedroom. It's made out of stainless steel, so it's heavy. It's quite pricey. I think it's less than $100, but it looks great. And most importantly, it weighs down my MagSafe charging puck. So when I lift up my iPhone, the puck doesn't come along with it. And if the $99.95 stainless steel version is too pricey, they also have a more affordable one made out of solid zinc. And I have it right here. This one is in the color called Carbide, but it's also available in silver and it is $40 cheaper. All right, let's slice it open. As you can see here, it says solid weighted base and a no slip grip rubber foot. All right, let's take a look. Wrapped in this pouch as well. Hmm, I'm not sure if it's heavier or lighter than the stainless steel one, but it is definitely heavy. Your MagSafe puck would go in here and the cable would come out here underneath. Now, if you travel a lot with your MagSafe puck, then you definitely don't want to travel with a paperweight attached to it. So you can get a leather cover for it instead. This guy retails for $24.95. It's not weighted. And it literally is, as its name implies, a little cover for your MagSafe charger. That's pretty cute. And last but not least is their newest product. This is the Base One with MagSafe. So say you haven't bought a MagSafe charging puck, but like the idea of that weighted mount, you can just buy this guy instead. It has the MagSafe puck built in. And don't worry, even if it's not from Apple, this is Apple certified, so it's as good as a first party product. It's available in carbide and silver. I asked for the silver one. Very nice. 
Wow. This is reminiscent of an old iPod, actually. It has that glossy glass top. It has a stainless steel base, and then it has the puck built in, and it comes with a braided cable, and it attaches to the back of the puck like so. So this is $129.95. Because it's MagSafe, it charges at 15 watts, but the folks at Nomad say you will need at least a 30 watt adapter for this to work and an adapter doesn't come with the box, you can buy one from Nomad. They have this guy over here and it retails for $14.95. Or if you already have one from Apple, they used to bundle one with their old iPads, then that will work as well. And that was the first episode of Gadget Match Show and Tell featuring all these awesome accessories from Nomad. Before we go, I have a surprise for you. Like I said at the beginning, Nomad has been a longtime supporter of this channel, and because of that, I told them I was doing this video, and they are offering all of you 20% off, not just on all the accessories we featured in this video, but everything on their website. That's 20% off. All you need to do is use the code GM20 when you check out, or you can use the link in the description box below. Which of these Nomad products did you like most? I might have a few uh, lying around. Sound off in the comments section below. Also, did you like this new series? And if so, what do you want me to show and tell about? soon or next let me know also or just tag me on social media somewhere i'll find it make sure you're subscribed to this youtube channel though and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff and as always for news and updates make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit until the next video i'm michael josh thanks for dropping by